probably could hear the wind in the microphone with this little clip right here. Uh, you can see my finger. Um, but anyway, it's going to be uh, raining its butt off here in, either tomorrow or the next day. And what I did is I was over there at Tractor Supply. And uh, back in the back where they, their trash is, I came across this uh, right here. Came across that right there, and it's gonna make a pretty decent little rack. And what I'm gonna do, um, we got this bunch of wood right here, we got a bunch of this wood right here, and the pieces that I can actually move. Um, I'm gonna sit over there on it because these are pieces that are too big to go in the stove. And uh, well, my hammer decided it wanted to take a vacation. And to replace it, I would like to get a bigger hammer. And um, I don't know if fiberglass hammer would be any better or not. But anyway, a hammer is like 45 bucks and we don't have it. So uh, what we're going to do, what I need to do is just get this out of the yard. And get it over here out of the weather a little bit. So that's what we'll be doing. That's part of what we're doing today. But the big reveal is upon us now. Uh, let me take you down to the barn and show you what the curb looks like. And actually, I said 45 for a hammer, but actually, I think I can go to uh, go to Harbor Freight and find one for about 30. So anyway, it ain't in my pocket now. So uh, what we're gonna work on at the moment is. That curb down there, which you really can't see much detail because it's dark in here. So let me, uh, I'm not going to try to show you me taking it off, taking the form off because, yeah, I don't have a tripod and, yeah, I, I can't edit and, well, I can, but I don't, I'm not editing. So anyway, here we go. Let me go take the board off. So if you recall... I use bar oil for a mold release, for a form release, and uh, that board just fell off that, okay? But here's the big reveal. It's not real super pretty. It looks like it was done by an amateur. Me, you know, I'm an amateur. Let's see if I can get you down here where you can actually see this curve. Yeah, there you go. The curve. It's not perfect, but it's going to work. It's going to do what I want to do. Now, the, 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 the other thing, let's see if I can get you where I can aim you at the curb. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that edge off with a side grinder. So, I need to get a side grinder actually down here to do that. Well, because, well, I don't know. I may not need it. Oh, that's still pretty soft. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll just run my finger down it. Cut the edge off of my finger. I guess because it was cold when I said it. Yeah. That curve was still pretty soft. But it's a curve. It's up there. That's, that's what I wanted. But I was worried about that having a sharp edge on it. But, nah. Ain't gonna have no sharp edge. Uh, but down here on this end, on this end right here, let's see if I can get you in the camera here. Yeah, right here. This right here, I had to put this spacer in here because it's not on this post right here. There was a big hole right there. So I just put a stick in there, drove it in the ground, did that. Let's see what it looks like on the outside. So, this is what it looks like on the outside. The board I put up against there, you can see a little bit of concrete came through, but for the most part, yeah, I think it turned out all right. Hell, I'm just trying to stop possums and coons, and I've got news for you. 
So just as a possum or a coon or any critter for that matter that can chew through that or dig through that, they can have this whole place, okay? Just saying. They're bigger than me. But then it gonna happen. That's why I said that. Alright, so there's my curb, guys. So it took three videos, but I got it. Peace, guys.